It's been two and a half years since we've had the opportunity to gather new superiors here at the Genolite in Rome. And this past week, we've been blessed and fortunate to have 17 new superiors gathered together for a meeting to, ref to reflect on our spirit and mission that we shared together. They come from five different continents, from Asia, North America, and South America, Europe, and Africa. It's a time to come together and just learn from one another, a time to listen, a time to pray together, and as you can imagine, a time to eat well together. It's been a very fulfilling couple of weeks. The main reason for gathering new superiors on a regular basis like this is threefold. First, for them to share what is happening on the ground, for us to learn from each other, for them to learn from each other and for the general council to learn from them as well, what are the challenges that they're facing in living the spirit and mission where they're working? The second purpose of the meeting is for them to learn what's happening here at the General Net and to, especially to learn of the many support services and how they can help support the mission throughout the congregation from the General Secretariat to the G General Procurator's Office and the Formation and Justice and Peace and Development Offices from the Formation Office and Communication Offices, how they can help to promote the work that they're doing in their circumscriptions. And thirdly, the other important reason for coming together is so that we can reflect together and discuss the many challenges that we're facing as Spiritans in living the mission today, and especially in fulfilling the mandate of the Bagamoyo chapter that took place last year. Now, it wasn't all work. We did have some outings. We went to visit parts of Rome. We had a visit with the papal audience and we also took a trip to Assisi. It's a time to, to socialize and to celebrate who we are as we reflect on our spirit to mission. As the new superiors return to their circumscriptions, our hope is that they're energized. They go away with new insights to go back and to continue the work of proclaiming the gospel and living the spirit to mission in their circumscriptions knowing better what's happening in other parts of the congregation and how we're all working together, supporting one another. And so it has been a great joy and a wonderful blessing for all of us, for the entire congregation, to be able to come together and celebrate who we are called to be as Spiritans.